The trial of Derek Chauvin, the police officer accused of killing George Floyd in Minneapolis last year, has been shown new footage of Mr Floyd, including police body camera video, in the time just before his death. Derek Chauvin has pleaded not guilty to two counts of murder and one of manslaughter. Let's go now to our correspondent, Aleem McBool, who's been watching the evidence. Aleem. Yes, Rita, and I think we've seen today some of the strongest video evidence we're likely to see at any point during this trial as the prosecution seeks to build a timeline of the final moments in the life of George Floyd. But it is video evidence, sadly, and some of which uh, has been included in this report that some viewers may find distressing. Derek Chauvin on the right here watched with the rest of the court this now haunting footage of George Floyd dressed in black, seen for the first time in the shop where this sad series of events began. A shop assistant, 19-year-old Christopher Martin, said Mr. Floyd seemed physically well and in good spirits, if a little disorientated and high. George Floyd's seen moving to the cigarette counter, where he uses what's suspected to have been a forged note, though Christopher Martin accepted it, saying he thought George Floyd wasn't aware of it being fake. The manager of the shop asked that the police be called. More footage showed officers arriving and pulling George Floyd from his car, and later him being handcuffed and led further up the road. Charles McMillan was another eyewitness to take to the stand, and his voice is heard in some of the most distressing video of the day. Don't do me like that, man. In the car. Okay, can I talk to you, please? Yes, you get in this car. We can talk. George Floyd is soon seen being pushed to the ground by officers. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe this, man. Mr. McDonough, do you need a minute? It's clear what happened that day last May has had a life-changing impact on so many. A crowd soon gathered and among the bystanders was the young cashier who'd alerted his manager about the fake note. What was going through your mind during that time period? Uh, uh, disbelief and guilt. Okay. Why guilt? Um, if I would have just not taken the bill, this could have been avoided. It's been hard for many to hear teenagers talk of their guilt over George Floyd's death and the reminders of the actions of the man on trial are inescapable. Aline McBool, BBC News, in Minneapolis.